Hello everyone and welcome back to I'm Annoyed at Skyrim. This is Matt TGM and I'm Annoyed at Skyrim because I just finished renting out my inventory a little bit because you know I mean having all, all the stuff in your inventory kind of weighs you down. However, some genius decided that to give me all this extra stuff. This all this Dawn Guard armor. Which it, it wasn't even a full set, I mean, admittedly that is pretty high armor rating, but not compared to my 315. And guess whose brilliant idea it was to do that to me? Mr. Gunmar. So what I've decided to do to Mr. Gunmar Our sense of what's right is, what separates us. is to can't give up. not only violate no, his personal space, I've got right now. not in that way, get your mind out of, out of the uh, skeever hole, but to sell all my armor back to him, meaning I effectively just got a free, however, however much that is, gold. Also, I, again, sold a lot of my stuff. Now my carry weight is back down to not a whole lot. Fight bravely, I always fight bravely. Now today, we're actually going to go find Serene, because we need Serene. However, we also need to quick save before we find Serene. In case she sends us off to the getting along with edge of like Skyrim. Done with the place. What can I do to help? I'm starting to think you like this as much as I do. Eh. Yeah. Here's the location of the next set of Dwemer diagrams. Thanks. Bile Gulch Mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in Skyrim. Good. I've actually never heard of it. Wow, completely new location. Fortunately, I happen to not give a damn right now. No, no. I'm not going to go do the main quest. I said I'd go do this, and I'm going to go do this. All right. When we leave, we will be outside Glenmoral Coven, I believe. Um, yeah, Glenmoral Coven. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Um, this way. It's gonna just be a whole bunch of bandits again. With another dwarven hall. Did I see a dragon? I heard a dragon. Oh, god damn it, Mr. Dragon. And reloading time because I'm completely stuck. See you in a second. Okay. Oh, damn it, I'm outside Fort Dawn Guard again. Alright, ju I'm just gonna again cut to uh, Glenmore Coven. Let's hope that this time I don't get stuck. Alright, I'm here. And this time we know not to climb across the mountains because there happens to be a convenient path. My path is clear. And overgrown with grass. Now, this time we're going to stay away from the big scary dragon because he's a big scary dragon. Nobody wants to deal with that. Alright. Well, that didn't take long to get to it. What's that thing up there? It looks kind of like an overlook. Oh god damn it, ancient dragon. Hey, don't you slap me. You just slap me. You think I'm gonna put up with that? No. Fandal, I swear to god, if we kill this thing and then I have to reload because you killed Brad. Nope. Wrong shout. Shout. Sp oh my god. Yes, finally the bandits have grown a brain. We're teaming up to take down the dragon. Yes, me and the bandit has teamed up against our common enemy. Or oh, he's just has or oh, he's just decided to attack me first. Should have to land, right? Oh god, I'm gonna have to go look for Bran after this. He's just too much worry, because then I'll, I'll lose him, and then I'll feel sad, because I, I lost him. Yes, good job, men. And woman, if there are any of you helping. We're just going to leave the bones and scales there, because we really need them. Come on, bros, let's be honest. Okay, absorb that salt. Yeah, Bran, he's actually here. Good, how you doing on health, buddy? Can't check. Brilliant. Well, this gets back the shot I spent on the soul I spent on dragon uh, aspect, which we really should use if we find ourselves in a pickle.
Alright. Fine. Wow. You just ran away like right, like not even hit the uh, your health wasn't even halfway down. Fandle. I'm sorry. Still here. What do you want me to carry? I know that you like your new toy that I just recharged. But I can't let you have it. Lead on. You're going to kill me or Bran, and either way and either one of them is going to make me reload and kill you. Well not kill you because you are still our buddy. You're the OG Vegito uh helper. But unfortunately you're just a little rude. Just a little rude. Alright, let's go. Alright. A dangerous, abandoned, scary mine. Where else would the... Oh, oh wow, really? It's gonna be this easy. What was that? It was a creepy lizard man, his dog, and his elf friend. You have now lost your head. Can you just imagine if that's how it worked in real life? Just like... Like, that was how simple all my Skyrim endeavors were. Uh, Belgic Mine Key? I'm assuming that unlocks the chest. Goody. Okay. Dwarven Crossbows Command. Devouring? Don't have room for it, but I'm just gonna pick it up anyways. It's, I mean, I do have room for it, I just don't want to pick it up, because then I'll have to sell it. Or disenchant it, or something, and that's just more work. Wait, is this a... No, this is just Auric Calcum. That's like... Level 30 armor. Not level 52. Okay, I'm here, and Serena's apparently asleep. Hope you're getting along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. Like you've said, I'm back with Bile Gulch, mine with the Dwarven Crossbow Schematic. You never disappoint. What have you got there? Is it really? It is. I was hoping we'd find this. It's a diagram for a Dwemer crossbow. Much more sophisticated and powerful than the ones we use. Here, let me show you how it's made. Completely useless Assuming item. Assuming you have Check. the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quick saving. I like what Isran is. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. It's not that bad. It's like a ten-minute hike. Okay. Um. Let me just sell a bunch of my useless garbage. Like that glass mace of devouring I picked up. And you're broke. Uh, what can I do to help? Alright. One more set of Dwemer plans to go. I think I'll be sad when we're done collecting Trevor's watch. These. Hmm. Who knows, though. Maybe more plans will turn up in the future. But I can't wait to see these drawings. Go on, get out of here. You do know I could just leave right, this then. until, like, episode 280. Those this is fine for now, but we can't stay all up here along, forever. Shut up, all of you! Stop freaking crowding me! Okay, I'm gonna be... Where is this place? Where is this hellhole? Please don't be somewhere far away. Okay, I'll be outside the Serithi farm. Onwards. Ah, here we are. Brilliant. I'm a bit busy at the moment. What did you want? Watch the skies, traveler. This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. I'm watching the sky. Well, I'm not a traveler. I'm an adventurer. Can I just... Oh, can I just take all this noon route? Oh, I can. I don't need it at all, but... Uh... Okay, on to Trevor's Watch. It's a new location, and we'll have done Serene side quests. So then we can get on to more important things, like Gunmars. Reoccurring. Non-unique. Poorly rewarded. You... Completely useless side quests. Well, I guess we do get to discover more locations, and we do make Skyrim a little bit safer. Well, plus we do set all the um, we do set all the uh, things at the place we come across to a certain level, meaning they will be weaker forever. Firstly, bandits aren't a challenge anymore. Bandits are just an annoyance. The Draugr Death Lords. They are a challenge, and they're an annoyance, because they're so tanky. 
my sword just can't do enough damage, and because I need a healing spell in my other hand, I have to use my one-handed weapon, and my one-handed weapon doesn't do enough damage compared to my two-handed weapon. So it's all annoying and math stuff. Alright, um... Oh my god, is this an elevator? Then what's this? Okay, I'm gonna go inside now. Yes, Bran, I'm aware that we have arrived. Alright. Let's just run through this as quickly as possible, then we'll still have time to do something in the other episode. Okay, we're gonna just be completely uh, one-minded. Okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. <clears throat> I don't care about the bandits. I don't care about your loot. I do want to kind of clear this location. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to go through the chief at least. Kill one and the rest will scatter. Not really, because we're actually expecting them to be smart. Bandit chief. Um, North lame not lame armor. Oh, a thug. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Why am I almost dead? Why do you guys not like me? I was just trying to come in here and steal your treasure. Does that really make me a bad guy? All I want to do is be loved. Um, okay. Right, Nicholas of Extreme Smithing. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I'll take on just all my Trinarch. Can you guys shut up? I'm trying to use the Arcane Enchanter. Has this place been cleared? Yeah, it's cleared. Alright, let's go home. Alright, let me just cast a candle light. First, I'll get uh, close wounds in, in, in my right hand. And candlelight in my left. Pop one of each. And run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Wait, are you guys losing? How are you losing? Fainal, how are you lose? How did, how did you lose to these chumps? Oh my god, you complete idiot. Oh my god, did I hit Fainal? Hey, back up. I can't afford to hit him. His health is critical. Right, because apparently Fandle is still way too weak. Let me just come on him. Yes, I am now going to make come on references because we're doing Dawn Guard and we're fighting vampires. Yeah, I fight my way out after just running in like a coward. Joe Star secret technique. Vegito secret technique. Opening a door. Which is not a secret technique. Wow, we managed to check off Serene's quests quite fast. Except that one of us sent one of them sent us to Solstime. Yeah, good job, Bran. Let's go. Fain all you Okay, good. He's over there. Uh, one of these days, Fain, or you're gonna die. Okay, let's go. I'll be outside. I'll be in Fort Dawnguard when we cut. Serene, finally. Hope you're getting along with Isman. I'm done with your damn Some quests. You, you never disappoint. What have you got there? Now this is a find. Plans for improving the Dwemer crossbow. They should add some extra punch to an already devastating weapon. Here, let me show you how this works. And completely useless. I'll have some for sale soon. Enchant and enchantment. Uh, what can I do to help? Speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. Yep. And more freaking Gunmar stuff. Okay, can I disenchant any of this useless crap they've given me? Nope, so I'm just gonna litter. Just gonna, just gonna drop it on the floor. What am I doing? I have a merchant right here. I like what Isran has done with the Speak with Gunmar. No, wrong thing. I, I, I'm aware they. I am aware that I need to speak with Gunmar for a goddamn assignment. Uh, yeah, take final staff of fireballs. He is not worthy of its power. And here, take, take these. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. I am most of the time. I will play it where it lies. When it comes to the lives of my followers, I am willing to mess with time. Hello. Cozy little place, isn't this? I've spoken with them for an assignment. I can't do it. Okay. Oh, money! My money. No one else's. Just me. Alright. Now. Profit. 
could do that, or we could get started on preemptive strike. We're doing one more gun mark quest just because game lengthening. I want this to be the longest walkthrough I'm ever going to do, which undoubtedly it's. Oh, damn it, I talked to a loading screen. Awkward. Um. Yeah, anyway, with the loading screen coming in and out in Fort Dawnguard, really, I don't need to edit that one out. Okay, Summer Moon's Camp. I'll finish my conversation later. Okay, here we are. Anyways, I want this to be the longest walkthrough I'm ever going to do. Which it undoubtedly will be unless I start making 10 second episodes of a video, which I'm not going to do, because that's just stupid. Why would you do that? That's just... That's a bit of a really stupid thing to do. No hate to anyone who does. No! Oh, was an Argonian. Yeah, I feel almost no regret. Um, uh, restoration, Sunfire. Uh, that only does damage to one dead. Let's get out some destruction. Let's start. Let's start destructioning things. I have like almost no destructive skill, so I want to like improve it a little bit. Anyone? Anybody want to get fired? Oh, Jesus, that, 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 that buddy is strong. You're strong. You're also mean, leave me alone. Where's my restore fortify health potions? Uh, I should have actually really good fortify healing potions. I remember, I've made a ton of them. I don't have any resist, yeah, I have resist magic. And yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, restore health. Okay, we'll just chill on that for now. Now, because we can't afford to be taking these guys lightly, we're just gonna get out our, our not so big weapon. Well, am I not doing anything? No, it's because I was hitting Bran. The Bran was getting in my way like a chump. This guy had better not kill me. Leave my doggy alone! Yes, his soul is mine. Oh, uh, Pindle, what arrow are you using now? Orcish? Really? Scrub tear? If you, if you, uh, if you use Orcish arrows, no, no hate to you, again. What I say is completely subjective, but, uh... I mean, no one ever comments, so, ha ha ha. Can't prove me wrong. Light armor forging. Really wish I could just find a skip. Do I like heavy armor forging? Pretty sure I have. Final, final. I've got your back. Why do you keep do you picking up these carry? arrows, buddy? How do you have five of them? You do have a lot of soul gems. I'll be taking those all off you at some point. And why do you have yeah. a hunting bow? All right, we got to get into the camp. Where this episode might go on a little long, but we're killing uh, this vampire. <clears throat> all right. Oh, he's right in there, guys. Will he just be a sneaky snake? We can kill him right now. <laughs> he was right. I was right in front of him. And I've been detected. Sorry, Brad. Oh, get out of here. Wow, that was pathetic. Any master chests or anything? It was a regular chest. That's an iron ingot. Alright, now I'm gonna be outside, uh... Oh, there's a place? This kinda looks like the entrance into a Nordic ruin a little bit. And, uh... I don't really want to go into a ruin. Oh, no, this is just the exit. Alright, uh, I'll be outside, uh, Gunmar's face. Okay, we're not outside Gunmar's face, we're just over here, because we can run over to Gunmar. I kind of want to go find Florentius, so if you guys want to let me go find him. Cozy little place, isn't this? I destroyed the Master Vampire. Excellent. That's one less beast and nest of broodlings we needn't worry about any longer. Now what can I do to help? I've located the whereabouts of a vampire masquerading as a common citizen. Track him down and dispose of him. Tread lightly. The law is unaware of the danger. We will treat you as a criminal if you are caught. Uh, what is the vampire doing? Vampires enjoy stalking their prey. 
Passing among us undetected emboldens them, makes them feel powerful, untouchable. But we'll put a swift end to that. Can I inform the Elsmen of the threat? Alas, the vampire can cloud the minds of those he preys upon. It won't be easy to convince anyone he's other than he appears. The law will require proof that we can't present, and Jarls disapprove of bloodshed they haven't called for themselves. Best not to damage our reputation. Let your actions be as discreet as possible. How can I avoid trouble with the law? You must be clever. Find a way not to be caught or accused of murder. You'll figure something out. We must be vigilant and self-sufficient if we are to defeat these monsters. Understood. The light be with you. Sure. That's actually going to end the episode there. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the episode. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe for more TGM Play Skyrim. Special edition. What do you need? You just shut up. Um, yeah, if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comment section below. I will be answering to every single comment anyone leaves on my videos, unless I think it's spam. Um, yeah, and, well, I'm going to be doing a little bit of stuff off screen. Not, like, majorly. I'm not going to get to level 80 off screen. I'm just going to, like, do a couple things. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Smith and White Run. Yorland Greymane was that and more, but now he's dead. All I ask is a fair chance.